It's Basimil Martinez, MMA Nut, here with Tom Stoneface Ninimaki, who faces Niklas Beckström, a UFC Fight Night Berlin, here on Saturday night. So, you're having your second fight here in the UFC. How do you feel your career is going so far? Uh, it's been going uh, much better than I ever anticipated in 2010 when I started my career. So, I'm uh, really happy. And you're the first Finn to fight uh, since uh, in the UFC since uh, Anton Kuivanen. And right now you're the only Finn. Do you feel like you're sort of representing Finland alone in the UFC? Yeah, there was actually uh, Tony Halmet, this uh, Finnish, Finnish yeah, I mean, wrestler. The first one since, yeah. since the last one. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, uh, of course, it's a, it's a great honor. I hope uh, there's going to be uh, lots of more Finnish fighters. There's good, uh, really good uh, rising uh, prospects in Finland. And uh, I hope I, I don't have to be here alone a long time. So, but it's a great honor. honor. And your last fight went very, very well. And I think what a lot, a lot of people were surprised by was that you took the fight to your opponent's strength. Ronnie Aya is a grappler. You took him to the ground. Was that part of the game plan going in there? Uh, no, actually, I was, I was just planning to uh, look what he's doing and uh, and uh, try to uh, maybe maybe try try to stand up and uh, avoid the takedowns. But Ronnie had a really good game. I was a little bit. Uh, like uh, frozen, how do you say? I, I, uh, he was, he got a couple of good punches and kicks in, and uh, that was good, wise game plan from him because after that he went to the legs and uh, and uh, he he took me down. There was nothing I could do, but uh, I got the reverse. So uh, spent some time on the top that I I like to uh, I like to go. I try to get the guy on his back, and I realized that I have a. Uh, maybe strength and advantage, and uh, my technique was was uh, uh, enough to uh, wrestle with him. And you were originally booked against Thiago Tavares for his fight. He got injured. Niklas Beckström stepped in. How did you feel about accepting a new opponent? Was there any hesitation? Did you have to think about it, or did you just want to fight? No, no, of course not. I was. Uh, I was really happy. Of course, I was sad because Tavares uh, got injured. Uh, I hope he's recovering. And uh, but I was really uh, happy and uh, grateful to the organization that they got me a new new fight. And uh, of course, to Niklas that he uh, stepped in. So let's talk a little about Niklas. He's a new opponent stepping in now. He's taking a fight on short notice. What do you know about him? Uh, I've seen some videos. I have a uh, talk with him. He's a nice guy, and uh, we, we uh, did some light sparring back in the day. Uh, he's a talented, young, uh, hungry fighter. And he's taking his fight on short notice, and he had a fight previously not too long ago as well. Do you think that's going to give you an advantage that you've been more prepared? Uh, I don't think it's an advantage. It's a factor, yeah. It, it can be a. Uh, uh, it can be some uh, influence, how do you say, but uh, I don't think so. Nicholas trains hard, he's mentally a tough guy, he's, I think he's ready for uh, three rounds. And matching up your style against his style, is there any aspect where you think you might be a little bit stronger? Uh, maybe uh, punching, probably uh, in, uh, in the mid-range. I could have a chance. He uh, he's got a good kicks, good knees, good tie plum, uh, gr ground game. Like I said earlier, he's he's from Scandinavia, so he's probably really good technical. But uh, maybe my uh, physicali physicality, uh, strength can uh, can uh, play a factor in the ground game. So we'll see what happens. And how do you see the fight going on Saturday night? Uh, of course, I see see my hand raised, raised, and uh, uh, we'll see what happens. It's I don't want to make any predictions. And lastly, your nickname Stoneface. I'm guessing it comes from the fact that you stay calm and collected, or where does that come from? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe like, like uh, that's my style. You know, I don't. 
uh, if I knock somebody out, I don't usually be like uh, jumping on the gates. And uh, I, I, I like Buddha spirits, like uh, be humble and uh, respectful uh, for your opponent. I think that's you're one of a few fighters who has that kind of uh, motivation behind his nickname. So that's pretty interesting. And so lastly, just to round off, how many friends and family are going to come and see you on Saturday night? Uh, my family actually uh, isn't coming. There were some issues, uh, personal issues, but uh, lots of friends, lots of uh, uh, acquaintance are, are coming. Well, I'm sure I've been looking forward to seeing you fight. Niklas Beckström, I'm the first fight on the main, uh, the main card of UFC Fight Night Berlin on Saturday night. Thank you very much for time. Kitos. Thank you. Kitos. Yeah.